Hey guys, back here again with another Flipper Zero video. We're going to be showing you about car keys in the Flipper Zero. Now, some videos out there show you that you can copy a car key, and while it is possible, it's only on, like, older cars. Now, if you want to do this to, like, open up your car for a cool thing for your friends, you have to be far enough from your car because all cars now have rolling code instead of a fixed code. With the rolling code, as I have highlighted right here, change every single time you hit the button. But if you're far enough away from your car, you can jam it with the flipper zero and catch it in there and use it as your key one time. So how it works is whenever you get your car key and you hit the button, it sends a signal to the car door, the car door opens. Now if you're far enough away from your car door and the flipper zero is there, you can capture it there, use the flipper zero on the car door, and it'll send the code there. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how I did it on my car right here. And like I said, it only works once. And I have this screen right here, so it makes it a little bit easier for you all to see. But you just go over to Sub Gigahertz, read raw, and you'll know if you have a rolling code by this bar graph that makes it right here. So I'm going to show you. We're going to hit record. I'm going to hit unlock on my car key. It'll show you this graph right here that pops up in that graph is actually the rolling code that changes every single time. So every single time that you look at this graph, it'll be slightly different. And also you don't want to record it for too long. If you have too long of a recording, it just really doesn't work. So make sure you try to keep them short. But once you have that and you're far enough away from the car, you can then take your flipper zero, which I'm going to show you right here in just a second, and go out into the car and use that code one time. But once you use this code, you can't use it again, because with the rolling code, it's going to be different next time. So again, I don't know of any true way to actually copy a car key for, you know, if you want to have a backup car key, unless it's an older car that has fixed code. So we're going to go ahead and run out to my car real quick here in the parking garage. And I'm going to show you how it works. Okay, now once you get out to your car, you're going to hit send. It's going to go ahead and send that signal and unlock the car. And from there, your car will be unlocked. So if you want to know more or, you know, are just curious about my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. The suggestion on the right right there is what youtube thinks you should watch because they think they know you so well and the one on the left is the one i think you should watch because it's one of my favorite videos so until then hit me up in the comments for what you want to see next and until then later